Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. The fill tools in Anime Studio Debut give us the ability to interact with filled objects in our project file. This tutorial will outline each of the tools seen in the fill panel. So let's get started. The Select Shape tool allows us to select lines and fill colors of the objects on screen. For instance, if I come over here and select the large oval, the Fill, Stroke, and Width properties reflect that of the oval. If I click on the second oval, you'll see that the properties change. This allows us to easily copy properties from one object to another. While an object is selected, you can also adjust its style properties. The Create Shape tool allows us to fill in certain points on a drawn object. For instance, if we take the Create Shape tool and simply highlight these three points and then hit the space bar, it'll take the properties from the style box for the stroke and fill in that line color. Next, if you highlight the entire object, you'll see that it's checkered, meaning that anything that's checkered will be filled in. Finally, if you wish, you can create a space or a gap within an object using this tool. And then just hit the space bar, and you can see now that the circle I just created remains transparent. The Paint Bucket tool allows us to fill in enclosed objects. If you look at the top, you have three options, Fill, Stroke, and Both. If we choose Fill and come over here to the object and click, you'll see it paints in the fill color, but not the stroke. If we choose Stroke and click, you'll see it fills in the line stroke properties, but not the fill properties. And finally, if we use Both, you'll see that it paints in the fill and the stroke, giving you a complete fill. The Delete Shape tool will delete the fill and stroke of your object. Now keep in mind that when we draw in Anime Studio, we create outlines. These shape outlines will remain intact even if we use the Delete Shape tool. So for instance, if I click the object, it deletes the fill and the stroke, but the outline, the drawing outline, remains the same. The Eyedropper tool is used to copy the parameters of an object. Please note in my style window, I have a green fill with a brown stroke and a width of 2. When I take the eyedropper and click this object, the style properties are now copied from that object. The Line Width tool allows you to adjust the width of a line based on a point. If we take the tool and come over here to this object and click on this point, and now hold down the mouse button and drag back and forth, you can see I am altering the width of that line at that point. You can also alter the value of this point by going up to your top bar and adjusting it numerically. The Hide Edge tool allows you to hide a line by clicking on a point. It works similar to the Delete Shape tool in that it hides the appearance but keeps the outline. So coming over here to this shape, I can click on this edge and the line is removed. However, the outline of the shape remains intact. And that does it for the Anime Studio Debut Fill Tools. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website. Thanks for watching guys, I have more tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you next time.